Welcome to the future, where the world is no longer what you remember. Digital overlays are seamlessly integrated into the physical environment. Virtual reality is now an essential part of everyone's life. With a blink or a thought, enter any world you desire. Gone are the days of bulky VR headsets or augmented reality glasses. The future of VR and AR is here. As crazy as it seems, this is our future. So in this video, we will dive in and explore the future of virtual reality. The technology I'm going to dive into today is something that's been in the works for a while, but now is an actual viable prototype that works. In terms of VR future technologies, this fits into phase three of four in the VR development cycle. So just to give you an idea, phase one is the headsets you're seeing today, bulky, full head mounted displays. Phase two is the transition to glasses, which will be driven by augmented reality. Phase three is what we are going to talk about today, and that's AR contact lenses. And phase four is something else I'll talk about at the end of this video, because it's an entirely different beast. So if you haven't heard of Mojo, they are essentially a company building the world's first contact lenses that can enable augmented reality features and one day lenses like this will be used as a replacement for VR as we know it today. The reason why I'm talking about this today, for years there have been dummy prototypes, fancy promo videos showing off the capabilities but not actually demonstrating a viable product with something that actually works. Well now it's actually here. This tiny contact lens with a micro LED display on its surface is capable of eye tracking using a gyroscope. Because it's actually on your eye, it uses different methods to track your eye movement, opposed to traditional VR-based eye tracking with internal infrared cameras, which is actually an advantage over the older technology. The initial prototypes will use eye tracking as part of the user interface. So for example, you're going to your local supermarket, you have a shopping list, and the AR contact lenses direct you to the appropriate items on your list. Around the store, you can tick off the relevant boxes just by looking at them. The lenses that Mojo uses is actually the world's smallest micro LED lens, coming in at just under half a millimeter, with just 1.8 microns in between the pixels. With current prototypes, you're only getting that green Fallout style display, but just remember, this is the equivalent of where Palmer Lucky was when he was developing his first Oculus Rift. Clearly, it still has a long way to go, but it's really interesting to see where this technology would take us. Imagine a world where you get home after a long day at work, a few blinks and you're in the Bahamas. This is what contact lenses of the future will be able to do. For now, and I imagine the foreseeable future, the processing will be done off device, and so it will communicate wirelessly with a device capable of processing the information. External processing is the future of VR, whether we like it or not. As devices get smaller, the only way to get the required experiences is to render that information elsewhere. And unfortunately, development of processing units just isn't moving at the same rate we'd like them to. So we must turn to the cloud if we want rich and beautiful VR worlds to explore with devices the size of glasses and the size of contact lenses. With devices like this, and the same goes for other AR displays, there is a field of view issue. With every new AR device, there seems to be an incredibly small field of view in comparison with, say, virtual reality devices. The Mojo, for example, has a field of view of 15 degrees, which is tiny. The HoloLens has 43 degrees and the Magic Leap 70 degrees, which is still a considerable distance away from where VR is at the moment. Rewind 10 years ago and I thought we'd all be wearing AR glasses in 2020, but it's clear that there are serious hurdles in our way. That being said, Every phase of VR's future is being developed right now, whether that's AR, or VR, or even brain-computer interfaces. The future is being pushed forward, and they're all being pushed forward together. We may only make small progress, but these products do work, and they will be our future. Facebook's biggest bet is within the AR space. This whole VR journey is for that purpose to develop this technology. Today, we explore virtual worlds with our bulky headsets. Tomorrow, a slick pair of glasses will replace that, and soon after that, contact lenses will eliminate that need entirely. But soon, in the not-so-distant future, brain interfaces like the ones seen in Sword Art Online and Ready Player 2 will become a reality, and that's what I explore in this video. If you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.